Hi everyone! Welcome to my second process video for my May page kits. This one is inspired by a sketch from Allison Davis from Scrapbook Generation. It's sketch number 16. I'll make sure to link the sketch down below if you're interested in seeing what I use. I had some great paper options for this layout and I really love this rainbow heart pattern paper, but I felt that it was really busy. So I decided that this black and white camera print pattern paper would be the base for my layout. Um, I end up not using that rainbow heart paper, but I do get a lot of inspiration from it. The sketch has two size photos. One is a six by four and the other is a three by four. I have three three by fours, so it equals to the same size. To help my photo stand out, I decided to mat it with a thin border with a black piece of paper. Um, I thought it would stand out better above the other pattern papers it was going to be on top of. Because my black cardstock was not big enough, I did have to MacGyver it to um, extend the piece of paper. Um, I don't think you guys would notice once you put it on the page and it worked out well for me to not have to use a fresh piece of black paper. For the center portion of the layout, I didn't want to have a pattern fighting the black and white cameras. So I ended up picking the more plain neutral teal paper to be that giant rectangle in the middle. Of course, there are measurements for each of different elements for the sketch on the sketch paper, but I just eyeballed how much I thought I needed and made my big rectangle about nine by 10 is the size. On the sketch, there were also some horizontal elements. I had some awesome pieces of branding strips that worked well to meet that criteria on the sketch, such as that um, wonky white scallop drawing on the blue strip as well as um, a strip from the camera piece of paper. There was these uh, slash diagonal um, black and white lines that worked well between the photos and the flags that were going underneath it. Another thing I put to good use were these colorful uh, strips that I made into banners. I thought that the colors would um, brighten up the page because it was basically just black and white and this uh, teal background. Um, the strips, of course, had hearts and the words on the other strip was, Oh, happy life, which I felt would be a good sentiment for this layout. Um, to go along with those long strips, I decided to use the other pattern papers I had, um, this mint green grid paper and this um, watery type of pattern on the other um, aqua paper. I just cut those into um, various thicknesses because I know the sketch had the same thicknesses for those um, banners at the bottom. I felt that they would look more interesting if they were different lengths and they were different widths. So um, I decided to make them all various sizes. The patterns each were the same size, but when you line them next to each other, they were varying. Um, also, the back of the mint color grid paper was this gray with um, off-white hearts, and I thought that worked out really well because I was on a heart theme with this page. And for whatever reason, I managed to um, line a set of these in a row and they were perfect to the sizing that I had uh, for the width of my photos um, above. So that just worked out really well. It was luck. I, I have 
uh, no measurements to give you because everything was just um, done randomly. This is the moment where I broke my Herma tape dispenser and um, may it rest in peace because I did toss it after um, I ran out of my refills. So I think uh, it was time to just let it go. I've had that for, for many, many years. As I'm re-watching my process, I realized I didn't use that pool water pattern paper in those banners, which is fine because I think my banners worked out really well um, for my layout. The next elements I was thinking about was the title because I wanted to make sure it fit on the page um, before I put the other elements down. I did know that my star elements would become hearts just because I have a heart theme. So I pulled out some of my punches to um, make the two big hearts that it's also on the sketch. Um, on the sketch, there were some layering hearts, I want to call them. Um, so I did punch a smaller heart and put it into the big one so it would have that same thin border outline as the stars do in the sketch. And I relatively put them in the same location. Um, the heart I put down on the lower portion of the page, I really wanted it to be part of the I in my title. My title is going to be Black Friday Shopping because the photos are of my family and I doing some Black Friday shopping that we used to do after all our Thanksgivings. Um, of course, we didn't do it last year because of COVID, but um, this was in 2017, so um, I just like documenting this day. We enjoy it actually quite a bit, even though a lot of people might not enjoy the hecticness. Um, we're not intense shoppers. We just like walking around and um, seeing what the excitement is during, um, during that day. I realized that I couldn't fit the entire title where the sketch had the title. I do eventually... Um, break it up and have Black Friday up top by the upper heart and then I left shopping um, at the bottom because it just reads better that way. Looking at my layout from this perspective, I definitely cannot read the title very well. I don't know what I could have done to make it stand out more. I might need another sheet of pattern paper underneath it so that it would stand out from the layout but I just left it the way it was. I did have these sheet of washi stickers that I wanted to use. Um, I put one that said have fun above Black Friday so it would be have fun Black Friday shopping. Um, I used another one to um, cover up the edge between the photos and the strip, the branding strip I put in. On the sketch, you'll also see these dotted circle outlines around some of the stars. And instead of putting more hearts at this moment, um, I replaced those elements with flares that I had in my kit that I pulled out. Um, I'm also now using more of the washi tape to emphasize my journaling um, to go right underneath the title. Um, it mimics the journaling that's in the sketch as well. For the date, I ended up using another washi layer underneath it and put it on top of the upper heart. Now I'm just adding some more final touches to the page. I have these green enamel dots. Uh, I also have three heart wood veneers. I thought that would also go well with the heart theme we have going on. I also had these um, clear heart stickers, which I will spread around everywhere. Uh, this was the moment when I realized that I accidentally did the gray side and not the aqua side or the mint colored side to the banner. So I had to just cut a new one so that the pattern was correct. 
my journaling wasn't taking much space like it was in the sketch. So I did have these word stickers in my supplies and I decided to extend those word phrasings. I would add just a few around them as well. And that's pretty much my page. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this process video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, um, please leave them down below and subscribe to see what I do with my last page kit for May. Um, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye everyone. Thank you.